Hello, welcome to the 2022 FDOT Design Manual Training for Section 326 Lighting Plans. I'm Richard Stepp, Standard Plans Engineer in Central Office. First revision is to Section 326.2 Lighting Data Table and Legend Sheet. The department is placing a new emphasis on ensuring the contractor uses the lighting EOR's design luminaire or its equivalent to ensure that the design remains safe and with the results as expected for the surrounding areas. So to support this new design luminaire process of FDM 231, the following requirements were added. At a minimum, in the light pull legend in the plans, designers would include the luminaire's make and model, input voltage, wattage, lumen output, correlated color temperature, or CCT, and distribution pattern type. Moving on, we have an all-new section 326.10, temporary highway lighting. Note that temporary highway lighting is not required, but this is for cases where districts decide to use temporary lighting per FDM 240. For this case, requirements are now provided here for plans content. At a minimum, designers will provide plans components with the following. A lighting data table listed by temporary traffic control phase and stationing. And please note that multiple TTC phases may be listed per row to save space, assuming that nothing really changes between phases. Plan sheets showing pole placement for complex projects. Note that for very simple projects, the lighting data table station and offset may suffice, but if you have a lengthy, complex project and feel the contractor will need the assist with exact pole placement, then you'd want to provide a plan view. And last, you provide the engineering drawings and notes as required to show the applicable requirements of FDM 240. And so as we know, the FDM is a document for designers and EORs and not necessarily contractors. And so the appropriate information from FDM 240 needs to be transferred forward to the contractors. This includes such items as barrier bracket mount details for type K barrier connections, as well as the one foot six inch pole setback behind the barrier, and also the barrier anchorage details or reference to the appropriate standard. Continuing, the temporary highway lighting plans would generally include all applicable lighting plans requirements as shown in FDM 326, which could include general electrical guidance. That said, please note that depending on the level of complexity of the projects, some leeway may be given for contractors as compared to permanent installation. And last, designers will include this temporary highway lighting plans package with the temporary traffic control plan per FDM 321. And now we've reached the end of the FDM 326 update training. Thank you for watching.